Hello, hello, it's your girl Lucy V here and welcome back to another Ask Lucy video. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to take the ears and tail from one model and put it onto a different model. So let's say you don't want to purchase a separate ear and tail set from Booth. Well, you could actually take the ear and tail from a model that you already own and make it work on your new model. So let me show you. Today, we're going to be using CO as the base model pretty model made by Chocolate Rice. So instead of her being like a cat girl with cat ears and tail, we're actually going to turn her into a dog girl. So we're gonna put the ears and tail of Mama Hinata because I think they're really cute. We're going to be putting them on CO today. So let's jump into Unity and get started. Let's import everything as we would as normal. First, we'll import the shaders, in this case, Lil Toon. And then the second thing you're going to want to do is import both the models, both Mami Hinata and CO in this case. And there we have it. Both CO and Mami Hinata are now uploaded into Unity and in the scene. We're ready to go. So first things first, I'm going to customize CO and make her a little bit more unique before we do the actual ear swap. So I'm just going to speed run here and make her custom. One second. So let's see, we don't need to work with Mame Nata right now. So let's just turn them off and then let's work on CO. Be right back. And there's our custom CEO. She's all done. She has a new outfit with custom textures, new makeup, new hair. And now that she's totally custom, we're ready to transfer over the ears and tail. So let's make sure that we show Mama Hanata. We're going to be taking the ear and tail from this model right here. So with this model, we need to delete everything that we don't want. So that would be body, clothing, everything but the hair itself. Delete that. And it looks like there's still some items that we need to delete. All right, perfect. So what I usually like to do now is delete all the bones that we don't need. So we don't need the eye. We don't need the hair. Definitely want to keep the ear bones though. Definitely don't need the name tag. Just kind of go through and delete everything except for the tailbone and the ear bone. So as long as it's hips, spine, chest, neck, head, you can delete the shoulders and the legs as well. All right, I think it's all set up. 
And then before we do anything over here in the inspector, let's just fit it on our model and see if it fits. So we'll reset it to 0, 0.0. Go up. And if you can't find the position uh, tool easily, what I would do is just hit Y on your keyboard. That way you can adjust the position up and down, side to side, rotation. I never adjust the X, only the Y, because then it may be off-centered. So this will happen with some models. Since Mama Hanata is so short, her tail actually is in the middle of our model's back. So what I usually do at this point is duplicate it and then delete the tail from one and the ears from the other. So we'll delete the tail here and we'll delete the ears here. Perfect, so now we have two separate items that we can move around. Just wanna make sure that the tail sits right above the tailbone, right at the tailbone. We all rotate it a little, I think it's cute. Should be good, we'll get her hoodie back on. And then we'll adjust the ears too. I think they're a little bit big just because Mami Hinata has such a big head, so let's reduce the size a little. And then we'll turn off Sio's ears. Hmm, maybe we'll make them a tiny bit smaller. Raise them up. I think that's about good. I think we're good to go. Now, before we do any bone adjusting or anything like that, I'm just gonna retexture the ears a little bit so they match a little bit more with the hair. As you can see, the outline is really exaggerated. So we're just gonna fix that really quick. Reduce the outline size and make it match the hair a little bit better. So the ear and tail color isn't perfect. I would go ahead and take this into Photoshop. So what you would do is you'd get the hair texture, save that to your computer, and then take the ear texture, save that to your computer, and then color match in Photoshop so the ears and tail match the hair color. Of course, you don't have to match the ears and tail with the hair color. I just like to do that. I think this color is okay for now. Perfect. So now we're ready to rig it actually to our CO model here. So since we imported Mama Hinata as an avatar, over here in the inspector, VRChat still reads it as its own avatar. We need to get rid of things like the animator, the pipeline manager, and the VRC avatar descriptor. Since we duplicated Mama Hinata to readjust the position, we'll need to do this twice. So just going through here and the base model that we took it from, just deleting all of these here. Remove component, remove component, and so on and so forth. Perfect, so let's do that for the tail. Perfect, now we're ready to rig them inside of our model. This right here, it looks like it is the ears. So I'm just gonna rename this ears and then rename this tail so I don't get confused. First things first, we'll drag the ears into the base model here. And then same thing with rigging like I showed you in the very first video. We're just going to put the corresponding armature in the correct place in your model. So. Prefab, unpack completely. Armature in the armature. Hips in the hips. Spine in the spine. Chest in the chest. Neck in the neck. 
and head in the head. We definitely don't need this name tag. Delete that. All right, that should be good. Now we'll drag the tail into the model and do the same thing. Armature in the armature. Hips in the hips. Spine in the spine. Chest in the chest. Neck in the neck. Head in the head. Again, we don't need the name tag collider. And since we deleted the ears, we'll delete them from the tail. All right, perfect. So once you've done all of that, it should be rigged properly. It should work. But the last thing we need to do is delete CO's default ears from her. So it would be hair, chemo, mimi, which means cat ears. We'll delete that. And it looks like we already deleted the tail. So let's get her into play mode and see if it worked. Perfect, it looks like the ears and tail are rigged properly. As you can see, all the bones are working and they're attached in the correct position on the model as well. And there you have it. That's a simple way to take the ears and tail from one model and put it onto another model. I hope this video helped you out today. I know it's super easy to just buy ear and tail sets from Booth and put them on your model, but this is a solution for those who actually want to take the ears and tail from one model and put it onto another one. I hope this helped you today. And if you have any questions, feedback, or if you need help with anything, feel free to comment down below or join the Discord, we have a fun community over there as well. Have a fabulous rest of your day. You take care. Bye.